Hey, sweet faces. Welcome to this week's homework where we are looking at fractions on a number line. Now, don't let the number lines intimidate you. Remember that a fraction is just breaking something into equal pieces. So if you look at these number lines, it's just another way of showing our fractions and pictures. Now, instead of it being a circle that is broken down or a square or any other shape, we're just taking a line. This makes it a little bit more difficult, but it also helps us really understand what fractions are, and it helps our eyes and our brain to make that connection so that when we think of what two-eighths looks like, it gives us an idea of what that picture is in our head. So for this one, we're looking at, well, what are the missing fractions? And you'll see you have some boxes to fill in. So the first thing that we need to decide is how many pieces is this broken down into? Now we know it starts at zero and it ends at one. We also know that if we have one whole and we're breaking our line down into eighths, that means we have eight out of eight. That means we have one whole. So it's always helpful to label that to help us remember. And just like one is eight out of eight, zero is zero out of eight. I don't have any of the pieces. So I know that my denominator, my bottom number is gonna be the same for all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my eights because I know that that is what needs to be there. Now I need to decide what are my pieces. Well, this is one eighth, two eighths, which makes this three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths. This is seven eighths. And we've already said that this is eight eighths. There is our first one. This one is cut into one, two pieces. So I'm going to put my two down there. If this is zero out of two and this is two out of two, then this one must be one out of two or one half. I've split this line into half. Coming down here, I see that my bottom, my denominator is four. So I'm going to fill that in. This would be zero out of four. This would be four out of four, which means that this one would be one out of four. Coming over here, my line is broken down into six pieces. I'm going to fill in my denominators. This is zero out of six. This is six out of six, which means this is one six, two six, three six, four six, five six, and six six. Coming down here, my line is broken into three pieces, which makes this zero thirds, one third, two third, three thirds. Over to the last one for this page. <clears throat> Excuse me. My line is broken down into fourths, which means that this needs a fourth. And we have zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. That's the end of our first page. If you have any questions, bring them with you to class. All right, love bugs. On to page number two, where we're looking at fractions on a number line. This time we're using our fractions to talk about the length. What is the length of each object? Now, if you've ever had an opportunity to measure, you will see that a lot of our measurements are in fractions, right? If we measure something, it's not always exactly one foot or one centimeter or one meter. So we need to break down the pieces into fractions. So if I'm looking at this pencil, it's going to start at the zero and it's going to end at the two. So this length of the pencil is two sixths. The lamp starts at the zero and it ends at the two. This lamp is two fourths. This strawberry ends at the one. So this is one half in length. Now remember, it's very important that we're starting our measurement at the zero because if we don't start at the zero, we're not getting an accurate measurement. That's our starting point. This backpack measures one third. This feather measures six eighths. And this guitar measures four six. Any questions, bring them with you to class. All right, now gets on to page three of fractions on a number line. This time we want to know where is the object located? Now we know that we're not measuring on this page because it's not starting at our zero. And if it's not starting at our zero, we can't measure it, right? I'm not gonna look at this pie and say that this pie is two thirds long, no. But where is this pie? This pie is above the two thirds point. So it is located at two thirds. This bunch of grapes is located at one half. 
This rose is located at one fourth. This acorn is located at four sixth. This cloud is located at one third. And this drumstick is located at five eighths. Any questions, bring them with you to class. On to page four. We are getting progressively harder, but you can do it. This time I want you to plot, which means to show or to write each point on the number line. So we need to make sure that we are setting ourselves up for success. So our fraction has an eight on the bottom, which means that this line better be broken into eighths. So we know that this should be eight eighths and this should be zero eighths. So let's check it. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths right here would be seven eighths. This one is half, zero halves, or zero out of two, one half, two halves. Down here, we're breaking it into fourths, zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. Our next one is broken into six, zero six, one six, two six, three six, four six, five six, and six six, or one whole. Down here we have thirds, zero thirds, one third, two thirds, three thirds. And our last one for this page is eighths, zero eighths, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, eight eighths. That's the end of page number four. If you have any questions, bring them with you to class. On to our last page where we have to put all of the pieces together to find what is missing, which means we need to decide what is this fraction? What is the line broken down into? And then after we decide that, we need to decide, okay, well, what exactly is missing? So let's start. We know that this is gonna be zero out of a number, but let's find that number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this is one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and eight eighths. Now this one is broken down into halves, zero halves, one half, two halves. Looking at this, this one is broken down into fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. This one is broken down into sixths, zero six, one six, two six, three six, four six, five six and six six. Down here we have fourths. One, or I'm sorry, that is not fourths, that is third. That is thirds. Let's try this again. This one is broken down into thirds. One third, two thirds, three thirds. And then our last one, let's see what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight which means this is one eighth, two eighths, three eighths. That's the end of our work for this week, kiddos. If you have any questions, bring them with you to class. Bye.